Hi, I'm Teresa Jackson. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of Photoshop artboards. They were introduced with the 2015 release of Creative Cloud. Being a longtime user of Photoshop, I'll admit that I wasn't quite sure what to think about this feature at first. It took me a long while to get my brain around exactly what artboards are. Adobe describes Photoshop artboards as a special type of layer group, but I like to think of them as a clipping container. You can have multiple artboards or containers in a single document. And artboards are very convenient for web or UX design or any design project that repurposes a layout at different sizes and proportions. When you start a new document in Photoshop, you have some preset options here in the new document window. Notice there's also this option here for artboards. If you choose web or mobile, Artboards are turned on by default. In the photo, print, art illustration, film and video, artboards is not. You could always turn this on at any time. I'm going to go to mobile and just choose the iPhone 6 template, which is a 750 pixel width by 1334 height, and say create. The first thing that you might notice here is that the color of the artboard is white, but it looks transparent in the layer panel. And we can change that if we select the artboard by clicking on the edge here. Notice that my move tool switched to the artboard tool, which is nested under the move tool. And then if I come to the properties panel, there's an artboard background color. And you can change this to whatever color you want just to visualize it on the canvas, but it has no impact on the export of the image. So I'm going to use white. I think that's the best option. I'm going to place a stock image onto this artboard from my libraries panel here. I'll drag out this bouquet of flowers and then scale it up so that it fills this. And notice how it's being clipped or masked by this artboard. Okay, I'll commit this switch back to my layers and we'll see that the image of the flowers is inside of the artboard. Let's zoom out a little bit on the canvas so we can see what's going on. If I take this layer and drag it off of the artboard, it places it outside of the artboard in the layer panel and we can see all of the contents of the flower image here. If I drag it back into the artboard, you'll see that it's being clipped by that artboard. That's why I like to think of these artboards as container groups to clip the contents of your design. Artboards can be renamed by double clicking on the name in the layer panel. You'll notice the name change on the canvas as well. Resizing an artboard is as easy as selecting it and then dragging one of these sides out and you'll see the it reveals the rest of the flowers here. If we're in the artboard tool, we'll have options in the options bar up here to dial in a size. So I could make this perfectly square if I type in 1000 by 1000. I can duplicate the artboard by clicking on one of these pluses here. If I click on the plus to the right, it's going to duplicate that to the right. And if I click on the plus to the bottom, it's going to duplicate it down. Let's scroll back up here and select this first artboard. If I Alt or Option click on the plus, it will duplicate it with the contents that are in that artboard. You can also add artboards from the Layers option menu here. New Artboard or Duplicate Artboard. You can add them from the Layer drop-down menu if you go Layer, New, Artboard. When you select one of these options, you can add an artboard to a specific size and you can even pick a preset from here. We'll zoom out to see where it added that. So it kind of placed it over the artboards I have. If I select the edge of it, I can drag it. And if you have your smart guides turned on, it'll snap it to alignment to the other artboards that are there. To move an artboard, you first need to activate it. You can activate it by selecting the artboard name from the Layers panel. And you can click on the edge of an artboard. Notice I'm on the Move tool. If I click in the middle of this flower artboard, it jumps to the flower image, but it doesn't move the artboard, it moves the image. If I click on the edge of the artboard, it activates the artboard and it changed from my Move tool to my Artboard tool. If I click and drag from the edge, I can move the position of that artboard. 
You can delete an artboard by selecting it in the layer panel and using your delete key. I'm going to delete the flower copy and the artboard too. When you duplicate the contents from one artboard into another artboard, Photoshop attempts to reposition it in the same basic coordinates. So I'm going to hold my option key down and that would be an alt on a PC. I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to copy it up to artboard 3 and release. The flowers were placed in essentially the same coordinates starting from the upper left. I've created three different versions of the same design here and I've renamed my artboards according to the templates that I used. So each artboard can contain groups and groups within groups and text and styles and all the things you would typically use. The only limitation is you can't put an artboard inside of an artboard. When the design is done it's very easy to save the artboards out to separate files and that's done with the export feature. If you go under File, Export, Export As, that brings up the Export As dialog and we can see all three artboards listed here on the side. And if we select each one of them, we'll get a different preview. On the right hand side, we can choose which format we want to export to and we can embed a color space, which I recommend doing. If we want to export out multiple sizes of these artboards, we can add that here on the left with the plus. If I click the plus, I could export out a set of these that are half of the size I created them at, or I can change this here and maybe export out a set that were, would be two times the size. So with these settings, this is going to create six files for me, one for each artboard at two different sizes. Here are my six exported JPEGs and we can see that each of them are named with the name of the artboard and the size that they were exported to. If you just want to export one artboard, first select it from the layer panel and then go to the layer options and choose export as. The same export as dialog comes up, but we'll see in this case that just the iPhone 5 that I had selected first is listed here. It remembers that I had previously exported two sizes. If I click the trash can, I can remove that option. And then if I was to click export all, it would just export this single image.